Welcome to Chess Troll TV, and today we are streaming a show based on the 4NCL, which just happened. We literally just finished, um, just like a couple of hours ago. And for those of you who don't know, the 4NCL is our British league. And I am Women's International Masters Greenish fans. Today I am joined by a fellow London Lions guy. So this is yep. International Master Justin Tan. How are you going? How's it going? <laughs> I'm good. And uh, so we've just been playing in the 4 NCL this weekend. And how did it go for you? Um, myself, I got one out of two. I lost to Sadler today. And he's a pats, right? Yeah, he's pretty overrated. <laughs> I was... <laughs> That's hard. No, no, no. He's... <laughs> pretty damn good right he's pretty, yeah. good. He's, he's pretty good yeah um and i beat someone else yesterday pretty pretty easy who did you beat some some fm do you know his name do you just and, like knowing by andrew him? lewis oh i've beaten him he must be crap yeah <laughs> i've beaten him pretty too. bad pretty bad <laughs> just an fm you don't even know the names just an fm oh <laughs> uh, that was anglian avengers and today was Gil guildford ah oh, but we're uh, actually one. rivals in the league because you oh, play yeah. for Oxford, and I play for Cambridge. Yeah, Oxford's generally better. We've got a stronger uh, team, I nicer think environment. No, it's um, oh come on, Cambridge all the way. It's definitely Cambridge all the way. And we, uh, we actually really drew today, so I probably can't brag too much. But the Lions themselves had a great weekend. So we had six of us playing, right? Mm -hmm. So it was the four we played um, on Wednesday, the winning team. So that's yourself, Yang Fan, James Adair, and Ravi Harvia. And then two Wait, others. also Dan, yeah? Yeah, two oh, others. Yeah, yeah. Then like me and Dan Fernandez, who's also yeah, yeah. in the squad. And we scored a massive 10 out of 12 this weekend between yeah, us. Yeah, only two losses in total. One of them was me. Oh, okay. You were playing <laughs> Sadler, who's literally one of the best. James Adair, you also lost one Who game. did you play yesterday? Someone good. Oh, where am I in Ah, uh, okay. So you both played, lost two 26-50s so. Yeah. Not so bad fair from enough, two IMs. Not yeah. so bad. So Yeah. Pretty strong. Yeah, not bad. Okay, I play two or you could play as the NCL as um for NCL. Yeah, exactly. Wednesday that's our uh, that's our uh, um uh, that's our new Lions motto, isn't it? For, yeah. Well that's what that's what we're calling it for the tournament. So we thought we'd bring you some highlights of this weekend. Some world NCL. class moves. Some of the best chess that we've seen played at this weekend. <laughs> Also known as the worst possible chess that we've found. These are just the ones we've Wasn't seen. Wasn't good. <laughs> this is actually bad for English chess, to be fair, that we're broadcasting this, considering well, this is yeah. supposed to be the It's a pretty accurate, of... it's an accurate representation, I would say. Oh, as come an Australian. On. Hey, I mean, you're an honorary English person now, so come on, you've been here yeah, for yeah. a long time. You're still in the UK for university and everything, so you're, you're honorary British. University so you of Edinburgh. That's all right, Scotland. All right, uh, all right fine. <laughs> Whatever. So, okay, we are now going to take a look at some of the games, right? Mm -hmm. So we're starting off with a game between Alan Murray, another one of the uh, young talents from this country, right? Not Is I am recent I am Alan Murray? Yeah, he? he must have had about 10 IM rooms <laughs> yeah. before getting his own title. Oh, but the thing was he struggled to get to over 2,400. Yeah. Yeah, but now he's got it, so he's... Bless him. Oh, oh he's such a good kid. So, okay, we're, yeah, we're happy nice to see guy. him. So he's always been talented, so we're happy to see him get to that IM title. But he is playing uh, a veteran of the game in England, really, and that's uh, Richard Bates, or to us, we know him as International Master Bates. <laughs> that is his name. That's what we call it. <laughs> so uh, that is that is uh, that is Richard Bates, and Bates Richard Bates is playing black, and Alan Murray is playing white. And okay, Alan is uh, has got a great position anyway. He's yeah, slowly he's already pushing. winning. So you know, he just plays C five, just slowly pushes. And, you know, Mister Master Bates sort of plays plays a few moves, and then. Decides in this King position e to play King E5. Yeah, probably just a resignation move um, to but finish the game nicely. Still kind of pretty though, isn't it? Um, so just like, yeah. How much that feels to get mated by a pawn? Yeah, it's actually, kind of Peter bad. Wells did that to me the last four and seal. Oh really? In the sense, it was better than it was. Did you notice it? Or worse than this? Oh, no, I, I, I sort of, um, yeah. I'm gonna go go ahead and say. Yes. I saw. I saw. <laughs> oh, but really, we know that you did that. <laughs> it's just a little porn. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that that was pretty bad, but uh, it's it's, yeah. it's kind of a funny start for uh, that's Master not that bad so far. It's There's... not that bad. Yeah. But okay, we thought we'd go with a Lions game. Now this 
is big matchup. This is this is a preview of what is to come next Wednesday, right? Yeah. Wednesday, the eighteenth of January, we have um like a London derby, so to speak. We mm-hmm. have an all London clash in the Pro Chess League. Because so I'm Lon- from London. Well you're next to London. Like yeah. Suffolk is basically London well actually that's not true but you know those people who live in Suffolk when they go away they just and people ask where do you live they always go oh London because yeah. no one's actually everyone, heard everyone of, like, in Australia says that I'm from London yeah because like you're not going to say and I just go yeah, yeah I think actually I met someone on holiday and they were literally from where you are in Woodbridge and they're mm. literally the same town and they said um oh, actually, I'm from London, like, to, to any foreigners. And I was like, oh, where about? And he's like, oh, actually, you're English, so I'm not actually from London, I'm from Ipswich. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like oh, OK, where about? And he goes, oh, actually, I said, I know Ipswich. And he goes, oh, well, I'm not from Ipswich, I'm actually from Woodbridge. Yeah. So we got, we got further and further out. But, yeah. but, like, to people who don't wow. know, you're technically a Londoner. Yeah. And for the They're purpose the of Pro Chess, you are still a Londoner. Yeah. Happy to be, happy to be. Yeah, so we've got all London matchup. And, you know, the same as these guys here, I think, like, a couple of them don't actually live in London, but you know, they've got strong ties to London. And uh, this is uh, Keith Arkell, who plays for the Towers. Yeah, pretty much. Actually, we can go. He's got white, right? Yeah, we we can Arkell. start at the beginning to not. Uh, let's just show uh, show the um, the opening of Dan Fernandez. You want to show as well? Well, it's pretty standard from, from Dan because he played a um, bit of a weird. Oh, he went. Oh, he yeah, went to go B5. Double okay. Fianchetto. Uh, but I thought he was going to get B5. So basically, this is Keith Arkell's white and yeah. Daniel Fernandez is black. And Dan is one of our Lions guys. But he wasn't playing on Wednesday because he just wasn't available. But you know, maybe we'll bring him out this match. Maybe not. We're not going to let we, our team. We won't let, yeah, we won't tell him. But it would be quite funny to, to bring him out again and to make him play Keith again. It would be. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. But this is a Towers versus Lion preview. And okay, so Dan, has, hasn't Dan been known to play like 1B5 on occasion as well? Yeah, no, yeah. D four, B five, E four, probably A C he played against uh, David, David Howell. Howell. He went like E four D four A five. Oh yeah, that and was Howell, weird. That that got Howell thinking for like eight minutes, I think. <laughs> I mean do you not think <laughs> well, that's bit, in time trouble. Do you not think that's like a bit of lack of respect? I mean David Howell is a former twenty seven hundred player and you just play one A five. It's just a bit like kind of like here's a finger to like yeah. your theory and your preparation and I'm just gonna play any old move on the board. Yeah, Dan Dan's chest generally yeah, it conveys the the finger. Yeah, I mean this is a double fianchetto. Should so if we're gonna see Dan play, are we gonna expect some double fianchetto action from Dan during this event? What do you reckon? Well, you ne- you really can never tell with him. He plays some pretty shoddy openings. <laughs> And he's a, he's quite jammy, but he's at the same time is. Does he really deserve his rating? What sounds a bit? He's crap at openings. He just gets lucky. He's just like. Doesn't really Where's work his rating come from? Chess. So yeah, he's, he's just he's not really annoying, is he? He's overrated. Definitely. Okay. No, but to be honest, I'm having a bit of bit of a rivalry with him, and he's a he's fair bit. He's a fair bit ahead of me, and he has been for a while, so it's not good. Um, but that will change soon. Are you going to um, face each other? I think this tournament when they're pouring the yellow or something. Um, no, because, well, actually, no, no, we can't really play Yeah, each probably not. Um, okay, but let's just jump to, like, move 25 really or something. We Guildford today, so. So this is, like, twenty move 25, and you can just see that Keith is white here, and he's got, like, a really nice, yeah, stable advantage, was, uh, right? Yeah, I think I gave Dan a bit of a look here, a look of disgust, as I, I usually <laughs> do, I would usually do with Just, Dan. Oh, <laughs> this position stinks, man. Like, you know, this is, it's, it's kind of hard, and it's, and it's key the sort of position that he likes as well, like, you know, he likes to just get positional hold on things and just gradually, slowly But I, I gotta him. say that um, Dan and I have played a fair bit of Blitz and he's, um, this sort of thing can slip um, in, the, in the hands of Dan. He, he manages to make this quite um, he, he, salvageable, actually. Wow. So we're going to, like, skip through. That's my only compliment, Tim. That he his can, only compliment. He, he can swindle. He can swindle. Ah, oh, okay. He's pretty resourceful. So we're going to skip to, say, like, you know, the ending, where we got to. Where yeah. do we get to? Like, so you can see off, that, yeah, you can see that Keith is... Swapped to ending. And this is, this is, this is Keith's specialty, what well, rook and pawn ending. Yeah. Our Keith specialty, right? I mean, he probably should have um, shouldn't have gone into this when he had such a crushing, not crushing, almost. But it's Keith, position. so Keith like loves ending so much. Like I reckon he would start from this position if he could in a chess game. 
Or he'd well, just like put the rocks and him... the pawns on the board and that's it. He'd probably be 2600 or something. If you compare him to, say, other people who is his rating, he is like that much superior ending than other people. He's so, a wise man. Right. <laughs> he's, it's his age, you know, he's got experience, you know, that's what it is. <laughs> but no, he, uh, he, he In all loves... fields, experience everywhere. Oh, wow. Does he know? Well, I don't is, know. Do you know that? Is that is that some gossip that you want to share? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but okay, the, um, he is uh, he is experienced. So he went into this probably thinking, oh, it's like, I'll win. Even I'll win, I'll win some equal ending. So he gets this sort of position. And when when does it go wrong? Well, now you can see that it's um. Black's got some activity now. Yeah, so it's slipped a bit for for um for white. It's probably quite equal though. Like with best player, you'd say probably a bit equal. But this yeah, king bit... now is quite nicely placed, isn't it? Yeah. Although after rookie one, probably has to hop back. Oh no, he's got the, the d5 pawns dropping. So okay, he does have to do something about this stuff. Dan's actually a good end game player as well. So you got to be careful. He's quite active. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Now, if you go back to all that middle game we looked at, and Dan's pieces were all passive. And now he's, he's got his king as active as he possibly can. And he's got his rooks doubled up on a, on a sort of weak backwards pawn. So he's yeah. getting as active as he possibly can here. At least in a blitz game, I'd choose black here. Really? And why's that? Well, just there's more chances to more go tricks, wrong for white. Which we seem to see. So, okay, wizard through to the critical position. So it looks like probably it should be okay. But then it, then it gets even more interesting. Because like white goes, okay, I'm going to grab a pawn. And you Black's think coming Black's in. coming in, so he's got obviously compensation. Um, but then it looks like White's going to win a second pawn. So you think that, like, if he wins that d6 pawn, he's two pawns up with a monster d pass pawn. It probably should be better for. Well, at the Black. same time, right, Black's got a lot of activity, so it's. So okay. Can... And yeah, Dan just forgets again. about it, right? Yeah. So he's like, okay, so I will take two pawns, Dan. But then he thinks, okay, rook e3 check, king f2, and then rook h h3. So I presume he's just going to go check, 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 check. And, you know, yeah, it. objectively, it, it probably is just a draw. So at rook this a6. point, Keith's thinking, I'm two pawns up in an ending. I've got a big d pawn, so only three pawns away from being a queen. So I don't want to draw. Yeah. So how would you try and get out of a draw? You can't, right? Is there any way to escape those checks? Nah, I don't think so. And um, yeah, he. So we do think that Keith was trying for a win. I think here. so because I mean, um, poor Keith. I guess experience does not really pay off here. But it's yeah. good fighting spirit, to be fair. But we do hope to see more moves like this by Keith on Wednesday when he plays against us. Yeah. Rook D two. So presumably, the idea is that you want to answer a rook coming to F three with King G one and blocking a rook on the G file with Rook G two. Yeah. End of draw. Yeah. Right? But what did he miss? Well, after King F4... Um, and after Rook D4 I check? He could, yeah, yeah. He wanted, I guess he wanted to play Rook D4 check, uh, which is where he blundered. But then the Rook on... Greedy Rook yeah, on D6... Yeah, the issue is that the Rook on D6 is... Ah, uh, OK. Well, the, both Rooks are really awkwardly placed. So Rook D4, um, King E5, Yeah, Rook five D4, by rooks. King E5 is a... That is would have been a nice embarrassing. Thing. Um, now Keith, I've heard, does enjoy being spanked, and this is a spanking. <laughs> so I wonder if he enjoyed it at this point. <laughs> this I'm is not, embarrassing. Actually, I'm not sure what his point was because if he was trying to win, then Rook D4, even if King E5 wasn't an option, King G5. I'm not sure what he's. It still doesn't against. help actually because yeah. you've got to go back. May still, yeah. So it's probably not. So I'm not sure. So then after King G1. Ricky one check, and he just resigned. Presumably, the fact after yeah, he's King actually up and then Rook, Rook e Rook H H one or E H one, E H one, yeah, yeah, I think so. So we can go King G two, yeah, Rook E H one, and yeah, the issue is both Rooks are so awkwardly placed. So, so Rook it's D4 still, still the issue of King E five, and if Rook F two, then that that sort of blocks in the King as well. So King takes G four and. Then Mate, mates on the board as well, well, mates being filmed. So that was a sneaky swindle by Lyons Fernandez. Yeah. That a is. It was a nice, a nice one. Yeah. We're gonna have to hope that uh, it's uh, he's gonna do the same on Wednesday. But we're gonna start getting into some more fun stuff now. So I like this one. I feel bad though, a little bit, a little bit 
this one is funny, this though. one it's is amazing this is worse yeah this is worse than a blunder so this is this is uh oh, the reason i knew this knew about this one is because um so this is white is roman no black is roman mitra no white white is it's actually not because i put the things on oh, yeah. so white is roman mitra who is a young uh talent from england about 2090 and black playing black is uh, an fm from england alexander Long longson who's he's a strong player mm. And, but unfortunately, he's not, not doing very well in this position. But I found out about this because uh, his wife, Sarah Hegarty, who was, a, who was not Sarah Hegarty anymore, Sarah Longson, obviously, who mm -hmm. is a teammate of mine for England Ladies. So uh, she, she was saying she was so thankful that and thought this happened, unfortunately, for the boy. But So I thought I'd take a look and just see if it was really as bad as she says it is. It's pretty bad. I mean, yeah, it's... it's... Okay, so, so, you know, white's just better here. And then... Black Knight on Puri on F3, so he chooses to move it. He moves it to a terrible square. Well, actually, it could be an awesome square. It's a knight, it's an outpost, but yeah, terrible in this case. Yeah. Does he know what a pin is? Maybe he's never seen a pin. I don't think he knows what a pin is. Maybe do they it teach is. pin in English chess? You pin and you win. Okay. So. Yeah. So they they do teach it in English chess. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't reach Manchester or something, uh, <laughs> but but I don't think he's noticed that there's, that after rook takes g6 he can't take it with the pawn because it's check. Well, yeah, he, after takes queen takes is the same the same thing. Exactly, and then you know a pin piece so, cannot move. So it was, yeah, it's going so pretty, pretty that's, well for white. That's um, embarrassing. And uh, okay, he should just resign here, really. Yeah. I mean, I suspected um. Taking the the rook on g6, black was just um, it was an it was a resignation uh, sequence. Of was moves. it or that, did did he envisage this next move happening? Yeah, that's that's the question. That's did he know that this was going to happen? So after king h8, he's thinking of one. It might be mate in a few, but yeah, the simple queen h5 followed by rook g1 and pieces yeah. flying everywhere is is uh, is mating, but. This is the move of the tournament, actually. Queen H. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think well, Queen H6. No, I think this is the move of the see, tournament. See, I think the other one's a move. Because, we can have a, we because can have a he vote actually on it missed. Later. Yeah, I but this ob is. Objectively, he's you trying lose to win. In this. No, he's trying to win. The other one was even more stupid. But that's why it's worse, because he was mating in a few moves here. But he tried to win. The other one didn't even try. Yeah, the other one. The other one was pathetic right. as well. We'll, we'll, we'll show pathetic. them both, this... and then we'll have a little vote. We'll get viewers to vote and see which one they think's worse. Because this one's pretty bad. But do you know what? Basically, Mitra <laughs> might have to consider. I don't know checkers, or you might have to. Where pieces can't move backwards. Oh yeah, yeah. maybe that's. A yeah, maybe thing. that's a get better game. But probably not. Not very... with such long range pieces, though. Yeah, he might have to quit chess. Or we'll get some glasses. Yeah. That help him like. But actually, what is it? There was actually yeah, a very popular maybe thing. His, his backwards eyes, bishop moves. It's like a really popular blind spot. What is with that? I think backward knight knight moves are meant to be even even harder to to spot. But loads of people. Maybe it's just English juniors, but they all miss uh, backwards bishop be. moves. You know what? I think English juniors. They well, just careful gen here. I think they just generally miss things. That it just. Yeah. You want to pick a fight? So, um, I'm born and raised in England as an English junior <laughs> through all the English tournaments. I am not miss a backwards bishop move. Well, but maybe my parents took me to Specsavers. <laughs> so I don't know. It could just be their eyesight. Yeah, maybe, maybe. He think he does play glasses actually. No, does he? No, I think so. No, I don't think he does. Roman Mitra, not not Alex. Does he not? Or maybe no. he should then. Maybe he should. I believe but I've okay. actually lost to him in Blitz. Really? So I'll keep I'll keep that quiet. Oh, I'm going to have to find that one in the archives. But okay, I think that is pretty bad. But we're going to go to another one now, which I think... Okay, we'll go to that one. We'll save that one for last. But this one, this next one, is um, on the girly board. Girly board, just about. And this is... Uh, why is Sophie Millier? So one of the strongest females in France, an I am, a real I am, not a women's I am like myself. So a real I am, um, like yourself. So you know. Um, yeah. So and she's playing Svetlana Sukikova, I think it's a Slovenian girl. So she's around twenty one hundred or something. And so Svetlana is black, and she seems to be quite happy going for a draw here with the looks of it. She just is so desperate 
to swap off these queens. But you know when you're 300 points lower rated and you're black, you're probably thinking, all right, I don't mind a draw. So you can see her dancing around the board, desperate, like, I should well be on her knees going, please take my queen. Probably, yeah. I mean, like, it's quite desperate. So no wonder Sophie's getting annoyed here. She's like, oh, God, you know. So she pays, she keeps on going. And then the girl's like, okay, fine, we'll see eight. But what is going on after here? this? Um, well, it's, I think it looks pretty unclear, right? Sophie played 95, which is quite interesting, to be fair. I think it's quite active. And again, here comes the queen swap again. Wait, um, instead of 95, mate, what was wrong with the, the hacky move rook f2? Because rook c2, rook g3. Ah, oh. So rook f3 actually carries a threat, I think. Yeah, but it's but, only for one move, right? So what if they just... Oh, but actually, then how do you answer rook g3? It may be awkward, but that I'm not... That is awkward. Oh. Yeah, no, queen d3 doesn't doesn't work because of queen g4 check. Yeah, that interpretso actually ruins all your plans. So 95, queen g5, queen e4. Bit weird, but okay. I think it makes sense. Maybe it's the just... pins again. Maybe yeah. they just don't know about pins. Maybe the, none the of these French, players know about pins. The French don't either. Yeah, maybe it didn't reach France. Okay, so rook f5, she gets out of the pin. King g7, so again, maybe she doesn't know pin pieces can't move. Maybe that's it. It could be. It Maybe. Could be. People should learn. The lesson of the day might actually have to be pins. pins. So pin to win is the, yeah. the general guideline. And if you snooze, you lose. Yeah, it's a good one. No, doesn't really um, matter, but okay. So here, probably queen d5 looks, looks yeah, pretty natural Yeah, so queen d5, and um, it's actually quite tricky. But then yeah. like this bishop f4 idea yeah, might bishop be f, interesting. Bishop f4 is kind of interesting. Um, With ideas. Obviously, if you play knight takes f7, there's rook e1 mate but um okay rook takes rook, rook, te rook, f4, rook takes f4 rook takes e5 and well rook e5 queen d8 and that's winning because queen, queen f8 and then g4. queen e5 queen f7 oh, king again. h8 hey yeah and if queen takes e5 queen takes f7 king, king h8, h8 is interesting. and the game sort of kind continues. of goes on yeah so queen e5 looks like a better way to play your thread but instead knight takes f7. because she doesn't know maybe it's just there's no pin and win in French. Hmm. I did see Romain Edouard. Maybe we should ask him what it, what the equivalent is in French. Yeah. Maybe he's, should we ask him if he's had of a pin? Maybe he's never Maybe had of one. Maybe he hasn't. We'll ask. Possible. We'll ask. Okay. So instead, she played rook f7, mm -hmm. and her opponent yeah, just... was like, "Thanks for the." Thanks for yeah, the piece. I think she was calculating too too many yeah. other things like rook takes e5, queen takes e5. It's only two. Two other things, to be honest, that she was calculating, but um, you know, some players at four and CL, they're not too strong. Hey, <laughs> really like you, because you lost today. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty much. Whereas person. I won both my games, so. Yeah. Nah. Okay. She she obviously just had a concentration lapse. Hey, which um, is it's over calculation, probably. Yeah. Pro yeah. Not sure. Maybe she was um trying too hard to win. This yeah. Game. Well, it is. It's, when you're playing someone lower rated. Well, you just desperately trying to. But yeah, that that must have been a bit. Here's a bit my favourite one. This has got to be worse. Well, no, this is definitely worse than the last one. No, yeah. but it's worse than the one that you think of Queen H6. Well, no, this is. See, so this is what I think's the worst one. We're gonna vote. Okay, so why is actually your teammate William Clarence Hansen, right? So yeah. you were happy that that Oxford won this game. Pretty really happy. I don't know who Sean Munson is. But he's got just some. Munson. Well, he's a dude who just hangs his queen. I mean, I don't understand. Okay, this is why it's funny. Okay, so, Queen C6, so check, good work. F3, <laughs> you know what they say, Pats are C's check, mm -hmm. Pats are plays check. But then they get Queen takes up three So, more Pats is in this game. So, just Pats is everywhere in the NCL. Yeah, maybe that's what it should be called, Pats are NCL. Mm. So, okay, then White plays the really, really subtle Knight B4. I think it's it's not a backwards knight move. It's not a backwards. Maybe it's just so subtle. Well, maybe he doesn't think sure. the knights can jump. Again, checkers might be the, uh, <laughs> the way to go here. So, okay, so any queen move. Well, not quite any queen move, but just move your queen. And, and what's wrong with this position? Nothing. Yeah, it's, um, 
okay, a knight's coming into d5, but well, it could look quite nice. But then it starts a breakthrough on the king's side. It might be quite, you've got a nice rook h7 like maneuver later to kind of get the king into the game. Yes. Maybe queen e6, f4, yeah, it's and then that, rook h6. It's not that bad for, for black. Yeah. yeah. But instead, it's... he thought he'd played the move e4. <laughs> I mean, no, but I'm, what does he even do? Like, I don't, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That is, that is a ex, that is one of the worst moves. That's I've, definitely worse than Queen H6. You know what? That's the worst. <laughs> well, one of the worst moves I've ever seen. Queen H6 is probably worse. No, but it's, Queen H6. He's trying to do something. E4 doesn't even make sense. Oh, well, <laughs> doesn't is, make sense. E4. Oh, it makes a bit of sense. I mean, if the knight wasn't on B4, then E4 but it would is. Be, it's a bit good. <laughs> but okay, but but even after, even if the knight wasn't there, okay, say it was on c2, then you could play... Then e4 actually does make okay, some sense. Okay, fine. So, um, well, queen h, I'd still say queen h, we can, yeah, we can have a vote, but like, I'd uh, say... I, um, think, I think this is definitely worse. We're going to have a vote. I don't know, it's a it's, uh, shocking play from, from both... Mitra, I think the Mitra loser of the poll, Monson. I'm going to put this as a poll. All right. And the loser has to do a shot on air next time of okay. the opponent's choice okay only after after the end of the month because I'm still on dry January mm -hmm. so not before the end of the month mm -hmm. so when it hits February the loser does a shot yeah I mean but it's pretty obvious I mean queen age six oh. whoops my your, bad your wine glass yeah your last wine glass hello um <laughs> So yeah, I, mean, I think that's pretty bad. But good. I think that was a great summary of the quality that is played at the four ATL. Yeah, world class. <laughs> <laughs> We've just done a nice promo on how crap English chess is. <laughs> that is not good. No, okay, come on. If you had the lot, we've got there the were some of... French players in there as well. well oh yeah, one. Sophie Fine. and uh, there was no other foreigners. Everyone else was English. Yeah. Yeah, Dan used to represent Singapore. But he was the winner of that one. Yeah, that, oh yeah, yeah. So, but he had a bad position, so. Yeah, okay. He's also a patser. Yeah, okay. Pretty much a patser. But, but that is uh, the quality. But we yeah. do miss having people like Mickey Adams and like, no one Sadler still plays, but we're missing Nigel yes, Shaw. Yes, he sure and, does still and, play. <laughs> 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 and he plays well um, and like Luke McShay those, those guys don't play and Gwen usually does but he's off in Vikings A at the moment so he was missing from this ball in Seattle too but yeah. I mean these guys it, are good it did actually it used to be uh, considerably stronger I yeah I think there's lack of funding until I like came pretty much yeah exactly and then it's just the quality just, that's true yeah. I mean Sadler must have been loving today and look at his pairing and like oh don't even need to get out of bed really he yeah. bet he did zero prep I bet he's probably out all night drinking. Still rocks up to the board and just like. Standard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I've seen Sadler drunk ever? Whereas, pretty much all the other top guys, actually, I've definitely seen drunk. All um, of them. Yeah. Do you know the the drunkest team of this weekend was probably? Oh God! Ironically. Yeah. Ironically, Cambridge University. Yeah. Ironically, considering that's usually me popping up the bar, yeah. and I was 100% yeah. sober. That was really weird. What was that about? So they were just um, compensating for... For me? Yeah. So, like, the whole team shared the amount of alcohol that I have to drink? Pretty much. Okay. Pretty much. I, okay. I think that must have been it, but it was quite a lot, yeah. But, so it sounds, sounds any, like an oh, Any exciting stories I, that you heard from the Cambridge team? Um, I did hear really. text, I did get from text that they were trying to sketch out sexual positions at some point. I, I don't, I didn't get to see these sketches. But, this is not PG. <laughs> sorry guys. Uh, but <laughs> we did have one of our players, did you hear him make his entrance today? Did you not hear it? Oh. You must have no, heard I it. I was on the complete opposite side it of it. It was that loud. He literally, we have an hour default time. So we started our rounds at 11 a.m. And at 11.58, I had this big bang, burst through the doors, like, Papa, 
what's his word, not Hollywood style, but whichever, what's even more dramatic than just that? Well, this is a big entrance, a big entrance. And he's like, <gasps> like wheezing, <laughs> hyperventilating, and just Dying trying to get to his board. This. And he, then he walks the wrong way around the table. And he's like the whole long way. So instead of going directly to his board, he goes all the way around, taking the extra 30 smart, seconds. Smart, smart. <laughs> like, and then plays his move and bangs the clock. And it's like, thank God for that. What move that is was the entrance. it? And did he win? That was the first move to get to the board before yeah. the default time. What was the move? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, oh hang win? on. I, I think he was black and he went C4, E5, yeah. Did and he, he win? drew really quite quickly as well, which is a bit lame for, of his opponent. Who is his opponent? Why didn't he win? Because Andy Baruch. Well. I have no idea, but an hour that? up on the clock in yeah. that time control is pretty Massive hefty time handicap. advantage. Yeah. That's as, what can I say? Poor from Andy, yeah. I would say. <laughs> Bad Andy. <laughs> maybe he wanted to go and watch the Liverpool he's, game. He's rubbish. Liverpool Man U game. Maybe he was rushing maybe. to watch the football. So, who knows? Who knows? But it's some shocking chess <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> Says the guy who let down, only took one of the only two losses from the Lions today. Yeah. You and James, good. you're ditched for next match, by the way, FYI. Well, that, makes, that actually makes some sense. Yeah. yeah. Even though we were the best performing players... <laughs> Last weekend. Not this weekend. On, yeah. On Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday. To be fair, that was quite good. But we'll see what happens in the match London. <laughs> yeah, Lions we're looking for the London, London Towers. Dark. Yeah, I think we're just going to kick them, to be honest. Well, London Towers, are, they're not good, are they? Who's okay. they got? Gawain? I mean, he's, he's off in some Gawain. Pats a tournament right now in Holland somewhere. Yeah. Pats he's, still. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, you know, he's a walkover. Keith, clearly not very good at chess. I mean, he just. Yeah, he just blunders into mate when he's clearly better. Yeah. Tom Rendell. He drinks too much. <laughs> he does drink too much. That's the first thing I so, can think of about Tom as well. So this is an side. easy win. And then Simon Ansell, he did get zero out of four in the last game. So he should probably stick to poker. Probably, yeah. He'd probably stick to poker. And then, I don't know, they've got a couple of perts. I mean, whichever one they play at those two, even if they play both of them. Yeah, even both of them We can combined. beat them. Both of them combined as yeah. one big power person. Yeah, yeah since then. Yeah. <laughs> that would be great. We could just, we could beat them. So we will, we'll be back on Wednesday. And again, we'll be live streaming on Twitch forward slash Chess Troll TV. So join us back then for some more chess action.